There was alcohol on his breath when he returned from that meeting with you. Alcohol. I, I didn't smell it on his breath. Well. Let it alone. Not possible. Take your time, Robert. Would you like to go for tea? You should have let it alone. Not possible. <sighs> Mr. McQuaid can't avoid drinking all too wine. When I found out, I Tears. He begged me, he begged me, he begged me not to remove him from all the boys. I took, I took pity on him. I told him as long as no one else found out, I let him stay on. Oh, what a relief! Oh, that explains everything. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, sister, it was all a mistake. And uh, if I talk to Mr. McGuinn? Well, by all means, talk to him. Now that the boy's secret's out, I have no choice but to remove him from all the boys. Which is exactly what I was trying to avoid. Hmm. You're trying to protect the boy. Of course! Has, has, has anyone ever reached out a hand to this child, sister? This Negro boy needs help in his surroundings, or he is never going to survive. You see me talk to these children out here in a human way, and you immediately assume there's something wrong. Sister, I might have done the same thing. Please, is there a way Donald can remain on the altar boys? Look, if the boy is an altar boy, can't remain as an altar boy. Of course. Are you satisfied? Yes. We must be going. I have writing to do. Hmm. Intolerance. That's right. And I am not happy with the way you handled it.